Yeah, so uh, this is not something typically I, I'd probably watch or, or share with you guys necessarily. Corey Taylor has uh, gone on, you know, his own and re very recently kind of canceled. I think he canceled a few shows. He said, you know, he has some problems with his mental health and all of that. Which, you know, that's that's a serious fucking thing, dude. Like, it's it's not... That's not a fucking joke. You don't play around with your mental. You don't do that at all. Especially, I, I don't know, I feel like as people get older too, they start to realize how important their mental health is. Because your mental capacity fully affects your physical capacity in such an extreme way. Stress, anxiety, depression, whatever it might be, fully affects how you feel physically as well. And in, in overall, it's just something you gotta really, you gotta take care of. It's just everyone should try their best to take care of their mental health. It's, it's very important. And the only thing I ever heard Corey Taylor in like an interview where he wasn't like really funny and happy, because he's usually always like really funny and happy, was like the Larry David interview where he got like deep as fuck. I, I remember and he like cried and that sh and I was like, this is tough, right? Like this is real. But usually, you know, you see clips with Corey Taylor and he's fucking around, he's having fun, he's happy, he's doing his thing. Seeing him make a statement about his mental health and it not being good and not a fun situation and having to deal with what he has to deal with. However, today he posted a two and a half minute video on Instagram kind of explaining everything. Where do I even start? Um, I, uh, I decided to make this video in response to a lot of the feedback that came out after I announced that I would be carrying on with my Southeast Asia run. Um, he looks so sad. It's, he looks, yeah, tired. He's in his fucking car. Like, you know when you make a fucking car Instagram video, like, shit is real, dude. In the statement that I rela uh, released um, relating to my mental health lapse, um, the truth of the matter is, is uh, I understand why so many of you are upset, and I'll, I'm just gonna break it down for you. I, um, over the last year, have had a complete and utter breakdown of boundaries, uh, mental health, ego, entitlement. Wow. Uh, the whole nine yards uh, culminating in a very, very real, very near relapse. Man. I, I mean, like, talking about, like, the mental issue and all that, but him even mentioning, like, ego and entitlement, like, that's, again, that's real as, f like, you will rarely ever find, not only a musician, like, especially not a musician, but, like, just a human that's like, yo, look, like, I have gotten close to the dark side, like, even with my, like, not even being able to check himself, like, it's mentioning ego and stuff like that, like, fuck, that's, it's very real. I kind of don't recognize myself. So, uh, again, I uh, I wanted to ad address this and just tell people that I needed time to reset. I needed time to start working on my heart and my mind and get straight. Um, the reason I'm keeping the Southeast Asia run, it's literally four shows. Um, it's literally a week. Um, I'm going to see how I do with that and just take it day by day. Basically I'm working on self care right now, getting the help that I need, um, and, uh, surrounding myself with my family. So to everyone, um, concerned with me, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, to everyone who's upset. I hope this answers any of your questions. Jesus, people are like, who the f is, let the, let the man beat my fucking sinuses, bro. Ah, I'm sorry. This is not my my sciences are being dicks, right? And the guy is like struggling, bro. Like who the fuck? Like oh no, I can't see a show, bro. Man's broken right here. Man looks sound like he's broken. Like that's fucking sad to see that. Like a, a person that just looks defeated. This is fucking Corey Taylor, the man. Like Slipknot master, our Lord and Savior in the metal modern metal community. And it's it's really sad to see just someone just looks at like there's like they're so to everyone who's upset i hope this answers any of your questions um i'm just doing the best for me right now and it's uh 
it's a it's a long road um and i don't know what's at the end of it but i uh i look forward to it i have gratitude for it and um i hope uh you can show me some patience thank you damn dude that's like again like that's very i think that's very powerful it's very sad to see again the homie just struggling like you can tell you when you make the car video you're it's you're it's in serious mode right but just the dude of that caliber being so real no pr statement right just like look i'm gonna talk to the camera yeah that's hard to do it's not it's not easy to tell the whole world like hey i'm going through something right now and not only him being real with everybody but like being real with himself like that is you know, that, I, that, that's mad respect for the dude. Again, if you like Slipknot or not, or whatever you think of them firing their members. I know a lot of people have been complaining about that and making memes and stuff like that. Gotta respect the homie, like just being very, very real, very on the line and speaking about that like dark sh Cause dude, mental, mental health is fucking serious. You know, we do fun metal shit here all the time. We focus on fun and that's part like part of, honestly, I mean, you guys know part of my like, like y'all are my therapy kind of like and when it comes to like life like i've had some shit happen in my life and then i stream the next day and we just do fun metal shit. you know it's like it's just a nice not like a safe space but just like a place to just hey you can come here right everyone has their own shit. and we come here and just kind of have fun and alleviate some of that shit. life is life bro life is fucking crazy and you know keep that shit in check your mental health your mental just everything about your your in brain that's it's important man don't take that for granted be real you know it, it can be a very scary place when you feel like mentally you have no way out and there's nothing you can do because you can do some scary shit. yeah much stuff to the homie like just best of luck and i hope he can find what he needs to get to, to, to feel a little better and i i think again him making a statement like this is it's it's powerful it's important it's powerful it takes a lot of a, a lot of courage and mad respect for the dude for doing that. Not easy, man. So many times he deserves the rest. Yeah, man. I, again, people mad. Like, yo, chill the f*** out. Like, t B's here commenting. People need to recognize that our entertainers are human. Your talent is a privilege that we get to enjoy. Yeah. Just being real is f I think that's so important. Look at that. So f***ing important. Support you. Yeah. He's human, too. And, and again, even saying, like, I'm, you know, checking his own ego. and like, holy f***. Like, okay. I didn't expect them to say that. Entertainers are people. Like we're your fucking clowns. I get it. Clowns are humans too. When they take off the face, when they take off all the fucking clown paint, guys. People. We're all just figuring out what the fuck to do on this random ass rock we live on, yo. We're just figuring shit out. Right? Figuring out in different ways, different calibers, different strengths, different weaknesses, different opportunities. Sure. We're just figuring shit the fuck out. That's all. But yeah, can you don't fuck around with your mental health, yo. Like, you, if you need to take time, you got to do what you got to do. Because that shit is dangerous, man. That shit is so scary. If you're in a really dark place and you feel like you can't escape, you know, like, reach out, talk to somebody. Like, just do things that make you, make you happy. Because, like, we've lost so many good people, musicians, to, you know, that can be really scary, man. And it's just people taking too much. And they don't know how to, you know, escape. Maybe they don't. They don't know how to get 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 away. And we don't need more people. You know, to lose more people like that. Hell no.